Greetings peoples, I'm an android, this is Bites of Food, and I have a couple of friends here who um, are very, very kind. Now I have a few things that I want to try, and we're going to be doing like a whole bunch of videos in one go. And the first one they're going to eat with me, and thank you very much Jack, and thank you very much Honey, is canned quail eggs. Now, quail eggs are pretty neat, actually. They're like these delicate, tiny little eggs, and they're used in so many gourmet cooking things. Um, I've, I've had quail eggs a few times, like not canned ones, when I've gone out, when, when, when we used to go out to the fine dining restaurants, but canned ones sound like a <laughs> interesting thing. Yes. Do you have opinions, Jack? Canned quail eggs? Things should come in cans. Quail eggs are not one of them. Yeah, that's that's a bit where I'm at. Like, that don't sound like it's going to be very good. Well, we will see. I imagine it's a lot like uh, most things that are preserved in cans, where they're put in the can and then they're cooked. Yeah, I guess like boiled, you'd think. Like yeah. boiled egg. Okay. Which I guess could work, but it's... It's yeah. not confidence building. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I have seen one other person who had quail eggs uh, from a can, from the Tin Can Challenge. Um, it's on Tasted Channel. His response was effusive, uh, very passionate, and oh wow. Smells like egg in a can. I didn't yeah. know what egg in a can smelled like before, but knowing what it smells like, it, it's unsurprising. Like, <laughs> that is what I imagine egg in a can would smell like. Would smell like. Yeah. And, yeah, it's suspended in water and it's dripping onto my leg. If you could please hold this for me. Yeah. Thank you. It does smell like it's overcooked egg in a can. Um, I'm gonna get like a little fork or something. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, they've been shelled already. Okay, I thought they were uh, still in the shell. I really wasn't expecting them to be in the shell. With I wasn't expecting them to be in the shell. I was expecting like boiled eggs. I was expecting boiled eggs, but I thought you might have to shell them first. Okay. It smells weird. Well, yeah, quail eggs are teensy. Um, How to describe the smell? Yeah, it. it... <laughs> Oh, a slightly sulfur. Yeah, which is I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be like kind of salty smelling, which is weird. And you can tell that these have been overcooked because they are rubbery. Yes. Doing, doing. <laughs> Although uh, this bit here has a dent in it. But yeah. All right. <laughs> Give it a shot. Oh, three on a three, two, one. Yeah. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh. Um, I was disappointed. Uh, disappointing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I ate it at first, and I'm like, this is really boring. It's it smelled kind of salty, and it tastes super bland. And then the swall, like, it was just like, this is this is boring and vaguely unpleasant, and then the swallowing was very unpleasant. Y yeah, and the, 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 the yolk was for some reason both smooth and gritty, which I didn't think you could get. No, that's a thing. Not the worst eggs I've had. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, but I don't know how you'd make that edible. I'm sorry guys. Oh. I well, assume... at first, if, if, if it wasn't so bad on the end, I, I was like, alright. I don't know, if they were like, in, cut up in a salad with some kind of like, strong dressing, a bunch of salt. I'm but thinking then, some then, sort of curry. Then on the some swallowing sort of it, dish. oh, okay, curry, yeah. Then on the swallowing it, I was like, no, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Something that obliterates all sense of actually eating this and you may as well be eating something else. So just blending it up and putting it in a curry sauce? I was more, not necessarily blending it up. Um, but having them in some sort of Asian curry or 
I don't know. That's your yeah, but before the swallow and the awful on the swallow, I was like, all right, this is just really boring. You could make this. Can things are usually cheap? Yes. Are they are the quail eggs expensive because they're quail eggs and weird, or cheap because they're in a can? I think they're cheap because they're in a can and preserved. Like, you can keep that for a while. Most quail eggs, you have to, you know, delicately ship and make sure they can stay whole. Because, have you, if you guys have ever seen quail egg cartons, they're just like normal chicken egg cartons, but teeny, they're so cute. Um, but I imagine that makes them fiddly and therefore there's more handling price and stuff like that. That, you just grab them, boil them, chuck them, can them. Which could be a problem. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't like that. Yeah, oh, well, that's why we had it first. <laughs> there, was, there was the thing where you, you you looked like you were going to gag, and I was mostly fine until you looked like you were going to gag, and then I had that uh, gag kind of. Sorry. See, I was struggling a little, then I saw how much everyone else was struggling. Like, oh, this is easy now. Suffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <So far. laughs> well, we might suffer a bit because <laughs> the next video. Which, if you guys decide to stick around, will be us having sardines in a can. Which is a lot more of a known and accepted canned food sauce. I like sardines, actually. And canned sardines, I like them. Yes. Yeah. I've never had them, I don't think. So, that'll be a thing for me. And Jack? They're tiny fish. You can't go wrong. You should probably get some bread. Well, yeah. So, uh, next video will be sardines on toast. If you guys like this, uh, please, you know... Thumbs up, subscribe, share it. Please share it with people. I'd really like other people to see it because that fills my ego so much. Also, if any of you have any suggestions on how to make those quail eggs palatable that we haven't come up with, I'd love that. But uh, this was Bites of Food. I'm an android. This was my beloved sister Annie. Thank you. My good friend Jack. Thank you. We'll see you later next time. Bye.